All right, so I've done, um, I've put everybody down. I know I haven't, uh, well, they're color coded and I've got my little color code. Um, maybe I should make little Roman numeral things for all the cores. Um, but it's, it's off to the side. I'll do a thing. What I am going to do, and I'm really super excited, I can't wait to do it, is um, uh, uh, an order of battle, like on a big piece of paper. I'm just going to use index cards because I was like, hey, man, why not? Uh, for myself, anyway. So I was like, yeah, I can just look on over and boink. That'll be nice. Um, on the other uh, bit, like I've said, even though I'm not, you know, I'm not playing this game um, like the official Dervelt Krieg way and so on and so forth. And, uh, you know, I'm uh, you know, grabbing as much as I can from it. I mean, it's basically the whole, the skeleton, I, I would say, I mean, obviously. Oh, um, yeah. Anyways, let's get to this. Uh, what I'm saying is what I'm loving right now are the way I've started to incorporate things such as you can see all the color coding is, like I said, are just all for the cores. It's just for me, it doesn't matter. I mean, I, you know, I, call whatever core you want it's just right now for me color coding if you want to look at it that way at least i know um you know which units belong to uh which core or the army direct uh, you know if it's an army hq that's taking direct control of, of whatever for example like here's uh third army so third army direct has control of these uh three group uh three groups here and so on and so forth. So that way I can start seeing stuff. Oh, yes, I understand that, like I said, it's not the official Dervell Creek stuff, whatever. Um, it, makes, it helps me and it helps with the narrative. And I'm just loving also going from a very, oh yeah, that's what I found out about. You're gonna probably see a lot of shaking maybe potentially with this um, this table. Too bad I'm not, I'm not in a plain naval, uh, like an old seafaring game or something, because boy, does this thing rock! It's because uh, the legs are not connected to the table, um, like, you know, hard thing. Kind of, it's, it's hard. They're not, actually. They're not screwed. I can lift the whole top off right now if I wanted to, but um, obviously I'm not going to. Anyways, let's get to here. Uh, and like I said, so I've got this, you get this, you know, way up level. I mean, I, let's not even start talking about the strategic land. Let's just, just look at this, at the, you know, at the um, Eastern Europe conflict zone here. Just this. And then, you know, we've got, um, you know, the big, the big, the big uh, Austro-Germans, and, well, and Germans versus, you know, the Russians and then the armies. Then I'm getting down to the course. And then there's, you know, mini narratives going into there and so on and so forth. Like, for example, like right off the bat, I can already see that the second army, uh, these little spots are areas that I would like to hit uh, in this turn. Uh, this one over here, I'm starting to learn about this game or World War One or whatever. Take my time. Wait until uh, I've got my stuff in order, then go for it. Uh, for example, I would love to nail this son of a bee now and start turning around and going around the river. Oh my God, it's so, you know, it just freaks me out to think how many times in this game, uh, both sides have gone back and forth along the boog here. Just nuts, um, but uh, you know, that's the way it is. Um, it's clear terrain on both sides here. So if I can nail this son of a bee from only here, um, that guy uh, can't uh, do it. And yet again, with these micro whatever, so I'm starting to look, like I said, okay, look, look, a lot of it's rail stuff. Uh, I think I gave the, um, uh, the, uh, the 4th Army, whatever core this guy is, uh, I think they're, they're, I think last turn they were supposedly had to secure that rail line all the way up to there. I'll have to take a look. I think they were a bit ticked off that they had to uh, go across the river. I'll take a look. But I'm pretty sure. Um, so, but that's one thing. I want to secure that rail line. Um, and yet again, like I was saying with the second army, they're going to uh, get on the blower and say, hey man, can we uh, get some, like, we've got some good opportunities here. Can we get some, uh, some, some ammunition and shells or whatever, some supply and, you know, start pushing these towards here. Cause he's the ultimate objective, obviously is going to be, um, to get Stanislaw back and so on and that, um, well, this rail line is going to be a, a gimme. Uh, like I said, two turns from now, maybe. Um, I would like to nail this son of a bee now, but the problem is I've got no supply and probably 
there are is going to be no supply coming. I've got more strength points on this side than I do on that side. So I probably, and well, even though that's a better shot at it, it's clear on both sides, darn it. This guy would just get broken, unless I hit him here, so I'd have to move my guys over there, so that way um, he wouldn't be able to use, he would just get broken minus one, and at least I wouldn't get a, um, uh, he wouldn't get a plus one to his die roll, which would be kind of nice. Uh, he's probably got nothing left there anyways, there's no, uh, whatever but still I've got to always be cautious um, yeah so that's it really I'm just loving being able to get down to this uh, this level and you know I'll work my way up later on but uh, it just helps me um, see all kinds of nice little things and I get to like I'm so glad that I've written down all like I said um, you know who's in charge of what core and so on and so forth it's just nice to add in to Ah, oh, just, it is. Just is. That's it. Um, yet again, uh, I'm going to have to clue into learning how to get back to some kind of um, sleep, normal, whatever, because I'm sure um, I'm just going to, like, boink. But, um, yeah, and this is just this bit. Eh? I still have to, like, figure out all the other objectives along here and whatever. And I have to also look up, like I said, I'm pretty damn sure that... Um, um, I haven't said the Germans haven't sent over uh, the 10 supply points as per the Katowice uh, agreement. So I'll take a look at that. And that's that. Uh, if I go, oh, but boy, oh boy, this is, um, well, this is beyond belief. Uh, you have no idea. Um, yeah, I've said it before, I'll say it again, but uh, yeah, this is where it's at for me. Okay, see you later.